Hello lovely people, welcome back to the this channel. Oh my god, look at my sleeves! I look like I could take off. I know I look very 80s today. It's fine. Where's my coffee? I'm allowed to be more casual and lazy on this channel because that's the rules that I've decided. First exciting update of the day. I've, I've been shopping online. Bought myself a little, just a little cheap, small handheld gimbal. But I thought it would be cool. It's got like a, it's got like a whatever I've forgotten what it's called it's got one of those mounts on the top for a microphone and so you can heck you can carry it around I'm thinking ahead eventually with the day when I one day go back to conventions and it'd be easy to carry around the other thing is I've got a new office mat I got carpet in here if I'm gonna show you I'm gonna have to hoover it first I've got a big heavy gaming chair that I am always shooping around in uh, so I got so I got a big mat thing that was recommended for on carpets like this. It's like PVC, but it has just... It started cracking almost immediately and little dangerous shards of <laughs> PVC started appearing in my office. It took me a while to work out that it was the mat and now it's just like crippled into these shards of danger and now it's the danger zone is where I record all my videos. So I've ordered a, just a just a normal like I don't know vinyl or some 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 shitty material that isn't like plastic crap that will snap and I'm just hoping that it will work. It's made for hardwood floors. This is the thing. This is the material that everywhere says is meant to be this is so boring you don't care about this. The point is that apparently other types of mat are only for hardwood floors but I saw somebody put a picture in a review, a positive review with a picture of it on carpet, so I'm just taking that as gospel and we're, ju we're just doing it because I don't want to get a shard of plastic in my foot. That's the excitement of my day. <laughs> I'm actually trying to take things slow because I have a million ideas of things that I want to do on this channel and I'm trying to ease into it in a more relaxed way because that's the point and if I start pushing myself to make loads of massive things, it's just gonna, then we're just it's going to be problems, right? Because I've got a lot of work to do already. <laughs> We're coming up for Christmas, actually. I think it's fair to say, because by the time this is online, it will be December, so it's fine. We're coming up for Christmas, and I always have. I, I really like Christmas. I love this time of year. I know I'm, like, not supposed to, because it's cool to be a bar humbug atheist, but I just, I love it. I like the flashy lights. I love buying presents for people. I saw, just stumbled upon the perfect most Conla thing for my friend Conla that I've ever seen just randomly the other day and I'm so excited about it. I love buying presents, I plan to see my family, we're gonna go to Matt's, my partner Matt's for actual Christmas and then after Christmas we're gonna go up to York and see my fam, it's gonna be awesome, I'm so excited. But I'm also excited because it's a great opportunity to talk about some theology stuff that I find super interesting, some history stuff. So I'm currently working through the research portion. I'll be lucky if it's actually done by Christmas. Maybe this will end up being Christmas next year, but I'm working through the research portion of a video on the origins of Christmas. Because everybody knows, ah, oh, pagan origins, pagan origins, aren't Christmas trees a pagan tradition? But nobody knows much more than that, and also it's not just pagan, it's also Roman, and I think the history is really interesting, especially because I don't want to, I'm going to go off and get all excited now, so I'll try and keep this as short as possible, but especially because uh, the early Christian church was very anti-celebrating the birthdays of, like, martyrs and stuff, including Jesus. So I think that's all really interesting, and I, like, I'm, I'm, but it, it's a lot, so that's, that's going on. Before that, I've got, um, uh, there's a new Answers in Genesis uh, video that is directed at evolutionists and apparently it's going to horrify evolutionists and since since that's me even though it's not a real thing I thought well I've, I've got to see I've got to see what it is that's going to horrify me you know what has Ken Ham or Tim Chafee or whoever come up with that will absolutely crush evolution once and for all despite you know a hundred videos having purportedly already done that I don't know why they keep I don't know why they keep bothering money is the reason they keep bothering. So what else am I doing right now? Well, it now, because it is in your world, it's very end of November for me, so it's not like I'm recording this a million years in advance in a, like a weird way. Uh, <laughs> the joy of this channel is that I can record things and post them quite quickly afterwards, so I don't have to 
because my main channel stuff there tends to be quite a big delay especially if there's like sponsors and stuff involved because everything has to get approved a few days before it releases and so on and so on boring 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 um behind the scenes business stuff by the way is something i think would be really cool to talk about on this channel so if you have any like you want to know anything about like making videos, editing, working with brands, any like just any behind the scenes stuff that you're really interested in that you would like to me to chat about, let me know in the comments. Because I do get those questions on the main channel, but I also don't feel like that's really the it's not really the venue for it. This is my everything else channel. I want to do a big book recommendation video. I think that's going to be one of the next ones I do probably after Christmas because it'll all be chaos here for the rest of December um, but I want to do a big book recommendations uh, like my favorite books of different genres fiction and non-fiction like useful research stuff just go through the books that I really love and have found helpful that I think people would really like I have a lot of ideas I, I always have a lot of ideas I wish I had a million years I wish I had Bernard's watch if you're not British and of a certain age, you might not know what I'm talking about. It was a children's TV show where this kid had a little... Bernard had a little watch and it would pause time and he could get up to all kinds of mischief while time was frozen. It was very exciting and cool. I want Bernard's watch. There was like a, uh, there was like a Simpsons kind of parody thing once in that style, but where they kept ageing and uh, I think Bart got super old. Anyway, <laughs> there's loads of stuff I want to talk about. I also super boring but I've had this massive stack oh my god executive dysfunction isn't life hard I've had this massive stack of boxes from my dad's loft in our dining room which to be fair our dining room is more of like a board game room that we eat in occasionally and guests sleep in it's a cool room I want to get some posters up and stuff and then once I've cleared out these boxes and put some posters up I'd like to show you because it it kind of looks like a little board game cafe in our house it's really cool but anyway I've had that room has had one wall just piled with boxes for an embarrassingly long time this is stuff that went into my dad's loft when I went to university that was like oh I might keep but to be honest I just lazily packed a lot of stuff that I didn't want to worry about or think about because there was so much to pack and so much to do um because my mum and I kept moving so there was no you know there was no stable place to just keep stuff for when I'm a grown-up living on my own anyway eventually I became a grown-up living in a house with actual storage space and so I got the boxes back and I just it's taken me a long time to go through them but I did another like three or four boxes I emptied out the other day I unearthed a load of my old comic books so many stuff toys so many stuff toys i've had to i've i had to sort of stop unpacking and go through my existing office and throw away like two bin bags worth of stuff so i could keep unpacking to figure out what to throw away and what to keep because i just yeah i, I have too much stuff <laughs> you may find hard to believe by like the environment that i exist in that is my like when i have time and i need a break from filming stuff and streaming and whatever that's what I'm doing. I'm unpacking boxes, basically. Unpacking boxes, throwing stuff away, just trying to organise my life. I'm technically still doing NaNoWriMo because it is still November. However, my schedule is such that I don't think I'm going to do much more writing until December. But I never go into NaNoWriMo expecting to. That's National Novel Writing Month. Um, if you're not familiar, there's like a whole website and it's become this massive thing. It's really cute um, If you do write s Stuff of any kind like I've seen people I've seen people use it for like scripts and all sorts of things It's really cool. Um, you can join local communities. You can join communities with people, you know, make friends and stuff um, And then you have like a daily word count. You can set your own goal It doesn't have to be the 50,000 words, but that is the traditional like write a novel in a month thing um, but I've managed to get my story that I'm working on right now up to about 26,000 words I've actually planned the whole I know what's happening in this I, I it sounds sort of obvious and basic to writing a novel which I get but I've never executive dysfunction I've never been this successful at actually just getting the story out and continuing it like I think it's because I'm really married to this idea this is something that I've been ruminating on for years it comes from maybe i'll do a video about it where i talk about it in more detail but um basically i i had this idea for a university project of a different kind 
Um, and I was like, yep, I want this. This is mine. These characters live in my head. I just sometimes I just sort of sit and see what they're up to and write that down. But I have the entire novel planned out. I know what happens in every chapter. I know how many chapters there are. I have written now six chapters, actually just just written them, all of the events. The thing is, <laughs> because I have not written in so long and because I have not studied in so long, I did a, a short writing course with the Open University like last year and that was super helpful, but it's kind of gone again. <laughs> so like I'm, I'm sort of afraid to keep, because writing it is a bit stressful because I've sort of forgotten how to write well. So I'm just trying to kind of ignore that and just get the events down on, and at least if I've got a story with this happens and then this happens and then this happens and this character says this and this character says that, but it's a bit shit, that's just draft one and then I can learn how to write it better. At least that, then I have a starting point and I'm actually doing it, so I'm really proud of myself. It's the kind of thing where I'm always like, oh, I'm too busy, but realistically, there's there's always a little bit of time. Like I said, I'll, I'll, I'll probably talk about this another time. Maybe, maybe I could combine my book recommendations video with my I'm writing a thing video, who knows? But I think the thing that's helped me is ignoring a lot of advice. Not, uh, taking in a lot of advice, a lot of good advice and a lot of stuff, but not everything works for everyone and I don't, I don't form habits well. It really takes a lot for me to form a habit, especially good habits, right? Um, and a lot of people will find out what time of day works best for you to write. A lot of people said first thing in the morning. And then some people said, actually, for me, you know, it works better at the end of the day, whatever works for you. For me, writing on a schedule doesn't work. It just doesn't work. Whereas working a bit and then being like, oh, I'm rendering a video, maybe I'll just take a look at my story and then writing for two hours, that works for me. Like sometimes I'll get super into what I'm writing in the evening and then I've like taken my phone to the bath and kept writing in the bath because I just kind of can't stop. Depends on, depends on you and how you work, but I think just listening to your brain and your body instead of trying to force yourself into somebody else's method, that's been a big, that's been a big help for me. So that's going on, travelling around Christmas, exciting things. Because I'm talking without notes or anything, I'm completely all over the place and I'm like, I'm, I'm starting talking about something for a reason and then getting distracted talking about it and then forgetting the original reason. The reason I was talking about emptying boxes and stuff, the reason I brought that up, come on Emma Brain, you can do this, is because one of the things I unearthed when I was uh, organising the other day and emptying them out was a massive box of old PC games. So excited. I used to do this series, I still kind of do it occasionally, but, you know, Emma Brain. Um, but I used to do this series called I Remember, um, and I think the reason I used to do it more frequently was because I had a friend that I did it with, that I lived near and, you know, life was different, it was many years ago. Um, but it was basically I would go through, or each of us would go through different games from our childhoods and sort of play them together and like, uh, you know, it's an amazing mix of incredibly shit or like oh, this is still kind of a classic. Um, so I have like a, a huge load of random old PC games that I definitely want to go back to. A lot of them I've uh, I've already played on the channel. There's stuff like um, Disney's coaster, Disney roller coaster game or whatever that I've already played on there. Um, so I think, A, I love doing that and it's super, super fun. Uh, B, I think that playing them on the channel and like doing a dedicated video, here's it, here's the game, I remember it, this is fun, is a great way to then say, okay, now I can get rid of the game, and that is going to be an organisational cleaning benefit for me. So I'm not sure exactly how to do that, but um, maybe like once a month or something. Again, scheduling, it's not my forte, so it might not work out like that, especially for the gaming channel, because, well, because to be perfectly honest, it doesn't make me any money. Um, so it's much less, I have to dedicate a lot more to, I have to be careful because I do spend a lot of time on that channel, more than I should for the fact that it makes me no money. I have to dedicate a lot more time to my main channel 
that is now my income. So that you, yeah, blah 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 tangent. I think it would be fun to get back to looking at like child games where we get again some friends in to just sort of play stuff with each other um, and then once I've played it I've played it and I can get rid of it. But yeah, old games, super old games from my childhood uh, and random old games that I find in charity shops for 50p because I love charity shopping. Uh, that's that's another thing in the, <laughs> in the back of my brain for stuff to look at so maybe we'll just dig up the box at some point and go through it because I think that would be quite fun. Uh, it'd be fun to see if anybody else like played some of these in their youth and what other people like that I don't know because I, I grew up with gaming and that means that a little portion of my gaming youth was like educational games for the PC with my mum being like brilliant put this on learn a bit of maths out of my hair for a while. <laughs> my mum's not like that but like it is a really good we used to play the Scooby-Doo games together a lot and then I would get stuck and she wouldn't be able to help and we would just be stranded and feel like fools. <laughs> I think that's all the rambling I had uh, planned, in quotation marks, I think that's all the rambling I had vaguely planned for today. I'm just excited to be able to talk about, st to, to, to just talk about stuff, like um, I'm excited to have somewhere that I can talk about like uh, filming with Sam, maybe some behind the scenes stuff for that. I'm planning to, I meant to do this last time and I just forgot because Emma Brain, um, I'm going to try and bring my camera to, uh, we're filming some more Star Trek at the weekend. Um, again, depending on when the film we're currently filming comes out, because I don't know where that is in the timeline. Some stuff we've already filmed is probably not going to be out for months and months, so it's like confusing filming stuff. But I'd like to be able to have somewhere to share like behind the scenes stuff and talk about filming fan films, because I think that's really interesting. I've got like five different cosplays that are almost done, but not quite. And I've, I've been trying, it's probably like really it's probably really bad and embarrassing to watch, but I've been trying to film myself putting this one particular costume together as sort of a test. So um, this is going to be where I'm going to post like working on cosplays and stuff like that from a very amateur perspective, just to warn you. And yeah, it's just nice to be like, oh, I really want to share this. I want to talk about this and actually have somewhere that I can, somewhere that I can do that. I'm going to stop before I get caught up on any more tangents because good lord um thank you so much for watching i've asked stuff i've forgotten everything already so put your answers to the stuff i've asked down below give me your feedback on stuff you would like to see that i have mentioned um i do vaguely remember because uh, <laughs> uh yeah i'd really like to know you know if you are interested in this sort of background, behind the scenes, just chatting, uh, talking about whatever stuff. I'd like to know what you are interested in because it's it's for me to ramble but it's also for you to watch so just let me know. Let me know and um, let me know what you think of my giant Battenberg jumper because uh, I love it and this is what I've been living in through the winter so don't be mean to be about it. Thank you. Before I jump off I would like to give a big thank you and a shout out to my giant chickens over on Patreon. <laughs> Something I might do that I think would be interesting is put kind of relevant questions for upcoming videos on the Patreon um, so people can ask questions or uh, get feedback or whatever in upcoming videos. So yeah, huge thank you as always to everybody who supports me over on Patreon. Thank you so much for watching this. It means the world to me that you're willing to sit and listen to me ramble about nothing on this, on this extra channel because I am really excited about it. Most importantly, have a very lovely week. I don't know why I'm doing this now. Bless you, my child. <laughs> I'll see you really soon.